Hello everybody, this is DG and welcome back to Prey. So we are currently in a better position now. No, it's not ideal. I have like 99, like, uh, plenty of shotgun shells now. Um, but we only have one medkits left and zero psi uh, mana. Whoa, calm down buddy. So what we're gonna do now, since our inventory is full anyway, we're gonna uh, go to the uh, um, recycler really quick. It's on level two, and then continue on from there. So let's get out of this place. This arm? Was that a bomb? Is a freaking. I just want to punch him in the face. Okay. Uh. <clears throat> I think this place is ra rather pretty, r relatively safe now. That now that we've taken down <clears throat> a couple of the big monsters, <sighs> except these guys. Let's try this again. What the? What? Sorry. Get away. Get away. Get away. Nope, doesn't work. Oh, actually it does work. He's unconscious now. I just have to... <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, <clears throat> increase the uh, power of this. Maybe I can do this now. Power, there you go. Four seconds for... Oh, that's not seconds. That's probably like a unit of power, uh, unit of like strength or intensity or something. Try that. Free up some space too. Okay. I wish I could like uh, make a custom waypoint, but I can't. See. Can we go through here? Let's hope so. That's the theater. One of the places that we need to go. Oh. Let's recycle that. There it is. Okay. Now, <clears throat> uh, we can. <clears throat> excuse me. We can either go <clears throat> to the theater or to the habitation pod. Uh, I. Whoa. You know what? Since we're close, let's just go back 
to the uh, fabricator and craft some med kits or newer mods. And we're gonna go to the habitational pod or whatever it's called. I'm missing that. Okay. And I wanted to get this because look at that. 300% to effectiveness of medkits. So we're going to use uh, we're going to need less less medkits to heal uh more HP, so that's good. All right. Habitation pods, yeah. All right. Package pickup. Anders, your package arrived. Front desk. If I'm not here, the code 3798 on the gate. I won't tell anyone if you don't. Exterior breach detected beyond this point. Bad dreams? <clears throat> Hi, mommy. I've been having bad dreams since you left. Dr. Preston said I should draw it, and that would help me make them get, go away. I hope you like my picture and come home, come home soon. I love you, Corey. Okay. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Officer Files. Officer Files. Malia, I have an important request. It's sensitive, though. I need to know I can trust you with a surveillance matter. Uh, yes, of course, sir. It's just that normally I can't do something like that without consent from Chief Elazar HR and another director. Those people report to me, Malia. Yes, sir. I understand. I want you to keep an eye on Annalise Gallegos. Where she goes, how she keeps visitors. I'll log everything on the security computer. Good. Send me your report at the end of the week. Yes, sir. Hmm. So this is still at the crew quarters. So we can continue that or <clears throat> Can do any of them actually. Wanted to check in on you, Sky. Just a Neuromod hangover. I feel weird. I can't believe you got modded for Alex's clown show at the Tula. Are you kidding? I've always wanted to play an instrument, but never had the time. It's so. It's like I can see the sheet music in my head. I feel like I've been doing this since I was seven. Besides, you are going to be on stage with me, right? Only to catch you if you suddenly collapse. And only if you keep me from punching Alex if I drink too much. <laughs> okay, it's the yellow tulip. Join us for a private celebration of Transtar success. Hmm. Huh. 
Okay, cool. We got like 50% of her uh, voice samples. Surveillance report is not that far. Although, uh, let me check this. <laughs> we haven't actually checked these rooms, but I might not be able to get in without a key card. <clears throat> Except this one. Eel prototype? Emails. Canned pears. Greetings, Dr. Kelstrup. Unfortunately, we won't see any other case of canned pears until the next supply shuttle arrives. As always, Elliot will mark them EDS. Thank you for your patience, ARNs. Get them scheduled from Alex. Oops. Deja vu has set in again. Retracing steps is going to be a little harder this time. It seems that Mueller's staff was not properly recording data. So all the progress they made since the last department, what removal is in jeopardy. We'll need to temper our expectations. Wiping the memories of the entire department is a tremendous setback. And I am beginning to question the practice versus the results we've seen. We should revisit the staggered system we discussed last year, Hans Kelstrup. Okay, there was the poltergeist that we ran away from in the bathroom on the left side, so we're gonna try to take him down. Have you been in here? Fabrication plant? We already have that. Dr. Igwe, I relayed your previous requests and we'll see what we can do, but there are no guarantees. Because the schedule for the visit is tight and may not allow for a face to face. I'll let you know when I have more details. Sincerely, Bianca. Miss Goodwin, to follow up on the previous request, I was wondering if there had been any updates on Gustav Leitner's visit. Is it still taking place? And if so, would it be possible to get a copy of his itinerary? I would love a chance to meet him before the neuromapping procedure, if possible. <clears throat> oh. Should be easy if we have like a mug. Yeah, a coffee mug. That must be from the bathroom.
Okay. The heck? There it is. <clears> hmm. <throat> huh. Subject left private quarters, presumably to report for first shift, verified by psychotronic security. Subject returned to private quarters during shift hours, reason unknown. Quentin Purvis was observed entering subject's quarters. And then Quentin Purvis left subject's quarters, observed carrying a portable drive. And then <clears throat> subject left private quarters, walked to a cafeteria, and was admitted to kitchen by Chef Will Mitchell. Uh, subject left crew quarters, verified by psychotronic security. Subject reported back to workstation. And subject returned to crew quarters, took meal into room. Gym code. Oh, this is this is nice. <clears throat> Excuse me. Nine five nine seven. That's great. Wait, maybe we already got that. How about this? Three seven nine eight. How many do we have now? Three? Hmm. I wanted to get this, yeah. Let's get this. Execute a direct psychic attack against biological targets for 45 damage and nullify psi abilities for 10 seconds. So instead of the using relying on the uh, nullifier grenade thing, we can use this. And probably gonna quick uh, hotkey this, but I'm not sure which one I should. Let me just switch this to switch it with the uh, with the camouflage, uh, the the mimic matter. There you go. Nice. Okay, now, where do we go next? Oh, 
this is a different place, Cargo Bay. Okay, so we can't do that right now, I mean. We can do this, go to the fitness center. The fitness center was just right here. Oh, good. I don't have to kill you guys. Fitness center swimming pool, and that is the this way is to the weights, treadmills, and punching bags. Let's check the swimming pool. Whoa. Uh oh. We could probably use this against a telepath.
can't I use this? Oh. It's working. Okay. Uh, let's do that. us. Okay, we can do this better. We can do this better. Okay, don't let him get to the humans. Because... That's the thing. If we hit him with the uh, the psychoshock, he runs away. <laughs> 